Today, I'd like to show you what I believe is the best tent for family camping. And why do I claim it's the best tent? Well, because it's a very special design that combines three qualities that are rarely found together in a tent. So if you're after a tent that's super easy and fast to set up, and also affordable and spacious, this is the tent for you. It's fast, cheap, and spacious. Okay, let me show you what I mean, and at the end, I'll point out some really smart design features that you may not have spotted, and something that's really, really bizarre about this tent. This tent is super fast to set up and pack down. In fact, one person by themselves can easily have the tent set up and usable in just a few short minutes. Let me show you just how fast and simple this tent is to set up. First, spread the tent out and put half a dozen pegs around the periphery. Next, insert the rear bar and attach the leg poles. Now finally raise the tent by lifting the centre pole and the rear bar. All the essentials have now been done and you could open a window and go to sleep. It's that easy and it took just 5 minutes. If we're staying a few nights, I'll usually roll up the front awning and peg out a few window awnings, but these steps only add a few more minutes. And remember, I've been able to do this all by myself single-handedly. This speed and simplicity makes the tent great for a single night away or a road trip where you're setting up in a new location each night. So this style of tent is usually referred to as a touring tent or a centre pole tent. They're based on the old teepee style tents. One of the reasons they're so easy and quick to set up is because they are single walled and don't require an outer rain fly. It's made of strong canvas which is both waterproof and breathable, unlike nylon. And unlike a lot of pop-up tents, this tent is large and spacious inside with plenty of standing room. It's classified as a six person tent, but it's more suited to four. The inside measures three and a half meters long by two and a half meters wide, or about 12 by eight foot. And unlike a traditional center pole tent or a teepee tent, where the internal pole is smack bang in the middle of the floor space, this design is asymmetrical. The center pole is actually offset towards the front of the tent allowing plenty of room behind for a double or queen size mattress. And if the centre pole is still a hindrance, an optional kit is available that replaces the centre pole with two side poles. Inside the tent is over two metres or seven feet of standing room, which is far greater than most other tents. This headroom is really helpful when getting changed or putting the kids to sleep, or if the weather turns bad and you're forced inside. Being able to stand up and walk around inside your tent is far better than being hunched over, crawling around. Now because this tent is rather large and made of heavy canvas, you're not going to want to take it jet ski camping. It packs down into a square bag, measuring 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters, or 32 by 32 inches. Now it weighs 24 kilos or about 50 pounds, so you're not going to want to take it hiking. But for car camping, this is perfect. And you can also divide the weight by separating the poles and the pegs from the canvas tent. And that makes the weight a lot more manageable. Okay, so it's fast and spacious, but it's also relatively inexpensive. While you can buy expensive versions of this tent, Mass-produced equivalents typically cost around four to five hundred Australian dollars. 
and I've occasionally seen them advertised on sale for under $300. Now to put this into perspective, many family sized fast pitch tents typically cost over $1,000. And with their complex internal frames or air bladders, they're not particularly durable. In contrast, this design is so simple and reliable, and since it's made of strong canvas, it can last a lifetime. So if you're new to camping and starting from scratch, or if you've outgrown your nylon dome tent and want to upgrade, this style of tent could well be the last tent you ever need to buy. Being made of canvas, the most important maintenance tip is to ensure it's completely dry before packing it away for an extended period. This will prevent mold from growing. If you're ever forced to pack it up in the wet, just remember to set the tent back up again the following day to air dry. And since it's so easy to set up, this really isn't much of a hassle. The other thing with canvas tents is you generally need to hose them down before using them for the first time. Wetting the tent swells the fibres in the canvas fabric, which ensures it is fully waterproof. Okay, so if you're thinking about buying this style of tent, I mentioned at the beginning that there are a few smart design features that I would point out. I purchased this particular tent eight years ago, and unfortunately it's no longer in production, but you should be able to find similar tents with the same features. So what are these features? One of the things I really like about this particular model are all the windows, particularly these lower windows at ground level. When you're sleeping at night on a mattress, they provide great cross ventilation and keep things really cool. So if you live in a hot climate and you're considering buying one of these tents, it's a feature worth looking for. Each of the windows has its own external awning that can be unzipped and rolled up or pegged out. When pegged out, these external awnings allow the window to remain open during rain without the risk of water getting inside the tent. Along with external awnings, the large front and rear windows also have internal zippered covers. This allows the window opening to be fully adjusted from inside the tent. This is great during the night when you have already gone to bed. For speed and convenience, we typically roll the external front awning flap up. But if we are staying for a week or more, this final design feature comes in handy. The front awning flap can be tied or held up from three different eyelets. This allows the front awning to be peaked in the center so that any rain properly drains off. Putting the awning up takes a bit more time, but if you're gonna be staying a few nights, it's sometimes worth it. What we like to do is tie it off to our gazebo so we have a dry passage to walk between the tent and our gazebo. Okay, along with the smart design features, I also mentioned at the start that there is something really bizarre about these tents. And I'm still scratching my head about this one. Despite being such an enduring and proven design, I can't seem to find any major US camping stores advertising them. If you know why this is, or if you have found a store selling them, can you please leave a comment below? Well, I hope this has helped. These tents really are super easy, and they make camping fun and enjoyable again. If you love camping and would like more videos, please click the subscribe button. It's completely free and helps grow the channel. Thanks for watching, hang in there, and I'll see you next time.